Dear Jesus, today we will follow you and pray with you as we go to the stations you visited on your final journey of love. You loved us so much that you gave up your life for us. Help us to give our love to others. We know that if we are kind to those around us, then we are being kind to you. Today, we take with us our cross to remind us of the families and children in need around the world during this time. Let us never forget them. First Station Jesus is Condemned to Death At the first station, Jesus is arrested and brought before Pontius Pilate by the soldiers and chief priest. Pilate knows that Jesus is not guilty of any crimes. He tells the crowd that Jesus is innocent. But the people don't listen. They scream at him. Some of them tell lies about him, saying that he did bad things. Instead of doing what is right, Pilate chooses to ignore the truth to please the people and condemns Jesus to die. Jesus didn't defend himself. He knew he needed to die for our sins. He knows that God is with him. He even asks God to help him forgive the people who are yelling and telling lies about him. Second Station Jesus Carries His Cross Jesus knows that he has done nothing to deserve the punishment. When the soldiers put a big heavy cross on Jesus' shoulders, Jesus doesn't fight with them or say any angry words to them. He quietly carries this cross. Third Station Jesus Falls for the First Time Jesus was already badly wounded, and there was a crown of thorns around his head. He was also weak from hunger and thirst, and being beaten with whips. The heavy cross keeps pushing onto his shoulders. The stones hurt his legs. The people lined the rocky road and yelled insults at him. Suddenly, Jesus falls to the ground. But Jesus struggles and gets right back up. Fourth Station Jesus Meets His Mother There are many, many people in the crowd watching Jesus. Among them is Mary, the mother of Jesus. She cannot stop his pain, yet Mary has faith that this is part of God's divine plan to save the world. Fifth Station Simon Helps Jesus to Carry His Cross Jesus is so tired that the soldiers know that he cannot carry the heavy cross himself. Simon of Cyrene is one of the people watching Jesus. Simon does not want to carry a criminal's cross, as people may think he is a criminal too. But when Simon looks at Jesus, he has a change of heart. Jesus just looks at Simon and quietly whispers, Thank you. Then they continue on the long road, carrying the cross together. Sixth Station Veronica Wipes the Face of Jesus Jesus is tired and sweating. His face is covered in dust from the long walk. There is one woman watching who loved Jesus very much. Veronica pushes her way through all the people and rushes up to Jesus. She takes a clean cloth and gently wipes the sweat and blood from Jesus' face. My channel got demonetized a few days ago. I love creating content for you all, and I'm really passionate about what I do. But without the support of monetization, it's becoming increasingly challenging to keep up with the costs associated with making videos. We already have a PayPal donation link and a Patreon page where those of you who are willing and able can support the channel directly. Every donation, no matter how small, will go a long way in helping me cover expenses like equipment, software, 
and the time I invest in creating videos. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Seventh Station Jesus Falls the Second Time Even though Jesus had help from Simon and Veronica and encouragement from his mother Mary, he just can't take another step. He falls again on the rough stones and dirt. The journey is a long one, but Jesus finds the strength to get back up and keep going. Eighth Station The women of Jerusalem weep for Jesus. He passes some women who are crying because they are so sad to see Jesus suffer. Daughters of Jerusalem, do not cry for me, but for yourselves and your children. He means that they should not weep for him, since he was not guilty of any sins, but they should weep for all those who are actually sinners. Ninth Station, Jesus falls for a third time. Jesus' knees give out, and he falls to the ground one last time. Others yell at him to get up. Jesus prays to God to give him strength, and he gets up again. Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. Finally, Jesus reaches Golgotha, the hill where he is to be crucified. Like all condemned criminals, Jesus is stripped of his clothing before they crucify him. Jesus stands in front of the crowd with just a small piece of cloth covering part of his body. Eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. Jesus willingly lays himself on the cross. The soldiers nail him to the cross using big hammers. The cross is raised up and he is left to hang there. He says to Mary, Woman, behold your son. And to John, Behold your mother. By doing this, Jesus was giving Mary to be the mother of not only John, but all Christians. He knows that he is going to die, but he looks at the people who have hurt him. And instead of saying bad things to those people, Jesus asks God to forgive them. Twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. Finally, after a long time on the cross, Jesus looks up to heaven and says, Father, into your hands I give my spirit. It is finished. Then he bows his head and dies. Then an earthquake shakes the ground and cracks rocks too to crash over. The giant veil of the Jewish temple was torn in two from top to bottom. A soldier who stood there said, Truly, this was the Son of God. Thirteenth Station Jesus is taken down from the cross. Mary holds him tenderly in her arms. Her heart is filled with sorrow but it is also filled with perfect trust that God will make everything turn out for the best. Fourteenth Station Joseph and the other disciples of Jesus takes the body and wraps it in clean linen. Then they place Jesus' body in a new tomb and roll a big rock in front of it to seal it. All of Jesus' followers go home because they are very sad and tired. And just remember that three days later, Jesus rolls the rock away. At the end of the way of the cross, you should always look forward to Easter morning when Jesus rises again. Jesus Christ crucified, have mercy on us. We want to remind you again to take a Patreon subscription. It only costs $2 to start with, or make a one-time donation starting at $5. This will help us continue making these videos.